I hope guys you took all the time to create this awesome butterfly and I really hope you made it even more awesome. Play, experiment, use all the shapes, try to experiment anything, do what you love, but you make a butterfly, okay? Because this is our thing. So now that you have drawn the butterfly, it's time to learn about the shape builder tool. And then we're gonna cut up some pieces, merge and stories like this. To learn about the shape builder tool, I would like you to open a file. If you come to file, open, and there is shape builder demo. Okay, where is it? Just over here. It's an illustrator file. And we click to open it. Okay, we're gonna mess up this file over here. So now, how do you use the shape builder tool? Let's select it. And you notice it's telling me, hey, you can't do anything here. You're not allowed. That's because you need First of all, to select the shapes you want to work with. Now, I created the lasso, selected all these shapes. And then you go to the Shape Builder tool. Now, it understands that you are going to work with these shapes. What does it do? First of all, you notice that the mouse pointer has a plus. It means it's an Emerge mode. What does it mean in Emerge mode? It means I can merge the shapes. But notice I selected a lot of shapes. What I'm going to do is select only these two shapes. So, the circle and the big rectangle go for the shape builder tool and merge the rectangle notice all you have to do is just create a lasso or a line in between one line is enough i know i created 10 and i release let's go for the selection tool and say exactly what happened if i click on the path and move it actually it has merged these two shapes the circle and the big rectangle let's select more all of them go back to the shape selection tool and now let's say I want to remove this portion from here. I can click on Option. Now it's minus, or if you are on PC, it's Alt. Click. Here you are. Now I made a hole over here. Pretty interesting. If I move a bit, if I deselect and move, you notice now I actually made a nice hole over here. Very cool. Now I can merge more shapes. For example, I select, and with the Shape Builder tool, you can decide I want to merge this one. I want to merge this one to these guys. Cool. So now go back just to show you. I click here and here you are. You have two shapes because it has merged the inner one and the outer one became a shape by itself. What happens if you want to remove even more? So I select the shape tool and I really don't have all the shapes that I want selected. What you can do is press command or control on the PC and select. Okay? So the command will go back to the selection tool. You can select and release it. Now I want to remove this circle from here. Press the option key and here you are. I removed. I want to remove this guy. Here you are. I made a hole. Now the shapes are becoming. Now if you select, here you are. You notice you have your shapes here. You can push them here. Okay? Notice this guy is behind. And do like this. Cool. Now we can color with the shape builder tool. How do we do that? Let's undo, 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 undo. Yes. Select all of them. Come to the shape builder tool. I would like you to double click on the shape builder tool. It opens the options. Now, what I would like you to do is to reset it. So over here, you have color swatches. It's a bit easier. I know this is a bit advanced, but don't worry about it. Just reset and click OK. Now let's choose another color from here. First of all, we are in the Shape Builder tool. Choose another color here. Let's take this color and let's decide. So we click out to remove the swatches. This is going to be a different color. So I'm going to click on it. Here you are. You can color. And I'm going to merge these two with one color. And uh, I don't know, maybe merge this guy with this guy and I have a different color. Of course, you can change to multiple colors. Okay, here you are. Okay, very nice. Good. Let's go back to our butterfly and say exactly what you want to do here. Now, I would like to create, let's go back here and see how we have done this line and broke and this line also, same here. So the first thing I want to do is to work with this guy. I want to make a duplicate. So I'm going to press Option or Alt on the PC and click and move. Notice I created another shape identical. Okay, a copy of it. Now I'm gonna select both of them. And now I have this line here that I wanted to change colors. 
go to the shape builder tool change the color that you want i'm gonna take a darker one something like this and click out click on this one here you are it's a plus and then whatever i added i'm gonna remove so i select it press delete here you are made a nice shape here now i'm gonna do a line and that's gonna be nice let's say you do a line from here just over here just like this i'm gonna select the big one the big wing and the line itself then shape builder tool change color to something very obvious purple and simply notice i can do the coloring here here you are very beautiful right guys now let's do another line from here and like this yes 45 degrees and then select all these guys notice what i'm doing here cool i have the line in between and first select the shape builder tool not the fill and then notice cool so i have the shapes i'm gonna change colors take it to that color for example and push it over here very cool now this guy i'm gonna do the same with another red i'm gonna go for this red i think yep oh cool nice now there is a piece here of this line you select it and you delete it now that's pretty cool here fine of course i'm gonna delete these okay even these guys and then select my new shapes here without the antenna and ctrl c ctrl f we've done this oh, oh i made a mistake i selected even the body here i don't want it so i'm gonna select just like this and no antenna yes so now ctrl c ctrl f you have a duplicate and then here we're gonna flip it and cool okay fine wonderful guys now we can go to the layer and say don't show me the original work because this is now the original work colors here didn't work fine with me you can even make them better and so on notice guys you can do much more i'm gonna select these guys here i have a line here remember this segment that we have drawn ah by the way to draw a segment just click and drag okay there's nothing to it you can go for your white arrow click on the segment one of the sides actually these don't have color but nevertheless you can see you can move one of them if you want to just draw a line straight lines segments so now we can adjust the colors let me come over here i have select all the circles here go for the selection tool of course and then i'm gonna select all of these but i don't want to select the big guy and not in between this guy so i'm selecting the line and the circles take the shape builder tool go to properties change the field for example i'm gonna give it a green but i want a darker green so i'm gonna go to the color mixer in the color mixer you have cmyk we're working in cmyk somehow i don't know why and then here you are go to hsb because you have the black here so you can make it darker or brighter i'm gonna go for darker you go for whatever you like and let's say this side here i want to make it darker and even the other side okay and even you can go for over here you have a line that's i'm gonna do it over here you have a line i'm gonna go for the shape builder tool change color and this is the blue the dark blue so i'm gonna select the dark blue go to hbc make it lighter maybe i don't know it's not gonna I don't know if it's gonna look good and here you are okay so actually you can really be very meticulous here you are guys you have learned about shapes you have learned how to work and create artworks okay we created only a butterfly but you can really expand your imagination and then you have the shape builder tool that will allow you to merge and cut in the butterfly we didn't cut anything yet but we have merged and we have you know changed the colors so up to you guy please this is gonna be your mission create an awesome butterfly with the shapes and the shape builder too thank you i'll see you in the next video